So if you guys have been following the melting connector situation on the RTX 4090 and the occasional 4080, much more rare, um, we're pretty much getting news on it every week. There's always somebody having an issue. There's not as many YouTube or tech channels talking about it all the time, but if you're on the Facebook groups like PCMR, Cable Modders, or Asus DIY, all those groups seem to be having posts like pretty much every other week or every week, it just depends. And so I've been seeing them pop up here and there. I always read the comments. A lot of times it's people arguing about the connector and people putting it in wrong. And then there are a lot of people saying, hey, I have the same problem. I put it in fully and it's still burned up, which brings me to this cable mod email that's gone out to a whole bunch of different people. Um, I'm actually a little bit annoyed that I did not get an email. Uh, I don't have the 90 degree adapter, but I do have a bunch of their cables, all with the 12 volt high power and the older model 12 volt cable. So I probably should have gotten an email and you'll see that here in a minute when I go and show you what they said. But um, let's just read the email and then discuss. Before reading this, I just want to say that I am on the NVIDIA is the bad guy side here. NVIDIA is clearly the one to blame for this power connector issue. It's not just these little companies like CableMod. CableMod is doing an excellent job at helping people. So without further ado, let's just read through this. Dear CableMod customer, thank you for being one of the first users to purchase one of our 12 volt high power angled adapters. This has been one of our most ambitious and successful projects to date, and it is truly humbling to see so many adapters being used out there in the wild. While the vast majority of adapters being used out there and performing as intended, we noticed that the failure rate of the adapters compared to our equivalent 12 volt high power cables is significantly higher. While cases of failure are rare, they do happen and more often than our cables, which could mean that unlucky users are going to be without a working GPU for a few weeks. Some users are starting to feel unsafe using their own adapters and are wondering if if there are any changes coming down the road. This part says behind the scenes twice, so it's not me just saying it. Behind the scenes, we have been working behind the scenes on a new revision of our angled adapters, dubbed V1.1. These adapters have the exact same dimensions as our original V1 adapters. However, their development includes some updated components as well as take into account some of the feedback that media partners like Jay's Two Cents has given us. With the new CEM 5.1 standard now in place, V1.1 adapters will include a CEM 5.1 female connector. As Jay's Two Cents noticed quite early on, on the main thing that could be improved is how tightly the adapter connects to the GPU. The current V1 version does have some wiggle room, which could cause the connector to come loose during the cable management process. Our adapter has a lot more pull force on it during the cable management compared to our 12 volt high power cables, and so we have adjusted our terminals to have a tighter and more sturdy connection that should prevent it from coming loose. While the type of terminal didn't make a significant difference in our testing, the tightness could certainly be improved. This was a result of the adapter being harder to both plug in and remove, but we feel it is an acceptable trade-off connector wiggle. Some users have also commented on how the male connector on the adapter wiggles on the PCB itself. While this didn't affect performance in our tests, many users were concerned about it and the V1.1 addresses that for the sake of our user experience. Okay, so this next part I kind of am indifferent about. I feel like they should offer free replacements, but uh, let's read it anyway. The early adopter program. We have been spending a lot of time interacting with the hardware community since the adapter launch. Frankly, we are extremely grateful for the number of people that supported us by purchasing an adapter for their systems. However, some users have expressed that they would feel more safe if instead used a direct replacement cable, ideally a 90 degree one, for their systems due to the fact that there are fewer resistant points connection wise. We also realize that everyone that supported us by purchasing a V1 adapter are probably wondering how they could get a V1.1 version and if there would be any sort of discount extended to to early adopters. To that end, we are introducing the following early adopter program to all of our angled adapter customers. Customers who purchase an angled adapter from us will receive a unique coupon code valid on our global EU stores, which can be used towards the following products. They go on to list the products down here. 
and then a what to do next section. If you're one of those users who feel stressed about using their adapter in their systems, we encourage you to remove the adapter for now and just use a direct cable connection. Then wait until you receive a unique coupon code and head over to our global slash EU store to purchase or pre-purchase one of the new solutions. We will ship out to your preferred solution as soon as possible. Lastly, should you have any questions, come join our Discord. We will have a new channel in place to discuss the matters of the early adopter program. Thank you once again for being a CableMod customer. Sincerely, your friends at CableMod. So I have a few things to say about this email. I think that they're doing a pretty good job, CableMod themselves. They've always been a really decent company, but uh, I just don't like the way this is kind of worded. It's almost worded as if like the customer doesn't feel safe, not as if they should just be doing something about it in general. Yeah, the customer doesn't feel safe because the cards are having problems. Is that entirely your fault? Probably not. It's probably mostly Nvidia's fault, but you're also partaking in that by making a 90 degree adapter that continuously keeps burning up as well. I think what they should have done is included a free replacement instead of some kind of like strange coupon code and join our discord. It kind of seems like a few too many hoops to jump through. You should just be like, hey, I'm worried about my connector. You guys said you discovered a problem. I want a new one. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this video to kind of get this out there. It's kind of strange that it took me days to find this email and people are having to recirculate it on the Facebook groups. So um, if you didn't know about it, it's out there. And if you have a 90 degree adapter, I would definitely reach out to them because there's clearly some kind of an issue here. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you gotta say and I'll see you guys next time.